Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So now let's see. We play with the piano now, okay? Whatever that part is. Would we put a number in there? We did, right? 107. See how well you do. Because if, uh, you're focusing on your notes only when the piano is introduced. Now you have to listen to the piano as well. So you have to remember two things. You got to remember what I just said about this section. But then when you add the piano, do not forget. You start following the piano and forgetting everything else, okay? Make it loud enough where you can hear all the notes. It's, it's rather where it's like so loud because you're just following it. And when you're done and you're used to it, then you can what? Soften the piano a little bit. So max it out so you can hear all the notes of the piano, okay? somewhere I, I I know you're playing the where we're after the accent you're pianoing right but I just want you to make it where it's softer so that it's more dramatic okay so don't climb until what the last dud you you don't want all the all line eight the same accent and loud you want what the first two to be just loud but the last one really accent you know what I mean you can hear the accent okay uh, let's go to B. C B one two three measure three. You play the wrong rhythm. So again, play that and da dum ba dum ba da 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 da. Okay. Da dum ba dum ba da 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 da. And then here again. You made it play two different mistakes here. First at that measure and then also at the forte measure, you forgot to play the last two note as a, dot, a dotted eighth into a sixteen. You're playing two eighth notes. Yeah, it is. Maybe this one. I, I forgot. What there's one that you, you played wrong. Let me let me show you, okay? What I'm talking about. I have your recording here. I'm not making it up. You're playing the wrong rhythm there. It's like two two notes that are out of rhythm. Good job though. It sounds really good. T -t -t Intonation wise. Right? And then next one. Let me see what the next one is. See? You did it right there. Duh. You did it again. It's dum ba dum bum. Okay? You got it? Okay, let's can you play me B with the piano? Make sure you play the right rhythm. Okay? But make sure what you you get that very uh, strong sound, but not make it like the waves coming in, okay? Come in at sonore like the waves coming in. Okay, soft and smooth. Smooth, not soft, but smooth. And you don't have to be heavy, right? line or something there put it and circle the dot or something because they're the, it's not the right rhythm I'm getting a habit now <laughs>
that bra, you're your forefinger. It sounds weird without my bra all of a sudden. So anytime you have a forefinger that's long, enough time, don't just play with no vibrato. It sounds weird. I can pick it up and be like, you don't have the vibrato intensity, right? Just relax the vibrato. Just make it relax. There's a few wiggles in there. And also the 16 notes. Sometimes you miss some of those notes because you're too loud. Remember I told you? Don't play the 16 notes too so uh, the, the scale, the da 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 da, right? You don't have to do what? Go so clear each note. Just make the forte louder, okay? So do it again. Just soften those 16 notes. You'll sound a lot better. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, that note. Make sure it's in tune. Sometimes you add a tune a little bit. to be flat when it's a fourth finger I think so and then sometimes when your fourth finger is right your first finger tends to hike up a little bit so your first finger is a little sharp after okay can do it again play with the piano and add that the uh, uh, right rhythm soften the 16th note don't play too loud 16th note and also what did I say I forgot already vibrato the fourth finger okay So now you have to put B and C together. This is the most loud and vibrant, and the piano is loud too. It kind of forces you to play louder, okay? So can you put it, to, can you remember? Can you play B and C together? You did a good job there. I think you did really good at this one. But then you kind of got lost here. What note is louder, the top note or the accent? Accent. Yes. So don't make the top note loud. It's the accent. Long, it's heavier, okay? So again, you get lost with the picture. The, the piano is kind of hard to follow. It's not really playing in time. And you don't know how fast it goes or when it goes faster, right? It's just slightly. <laughs> here you don't make any sound you see you're gonna lift but do the motion of uh, uh, that you're on this you kind of going and not stopping you're not lifting like this you're not lifting you're doing what you're going like this right so watch 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 the motion place yeah but you're placing here why not place here it doesn't make any sound you're making a lot of sound. Yes, we're minimizing the sound making. If you did that, what you just did, you... <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, but you were doing that, okay? There's bumpy notes there, okay? At the tip, no bumpy notes sound, okay? Or minimize. Yeah, there you go. Remember to travel up the bow all the way down there to long note, okay? Uh, no sound. You don't don't bump bump into it. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? Just to control a little bit of sound that you make, the extra sound, okay?
the accelerando does accelerate, but when does it accelerate? Only one measure. Where is it? Does it do the first hill? After the first hill or the second hill? The second. So, and that's it. And then once it accelerates, you have to follow that tempo. It only goes one tempo, one only. It doesn't go faster, faster, and faster. It just do what? One tempo change. So put something there. Or to just remind you, you're, you're trying to like, you're not still accelerando. You're still playing the same tempo and you're behind. Do you understand? You're behind there. Now your second finger is a little out of tune. I know I'm a little bit. You're a little flat on that note. Yeah, make sure it's in tune, okay? That was good. But that one before was flat, okay? Okay, your turn. Let's do it one more time. this whole page okay I like your A your A is sweet and soft and just walking down the park and the, even the, your trills are sounding so good now the trills are beautiful you're so relaxed right the homework number one is to re-record but add the dynamics add the piano sections with our piano and also the cleanliness you see that we did the bow lift between notes things like that that kind of makes you advance because you understand how to make a note sound good when you lift up the bow, right? And also accenting and play, how to play allegrando. Allegrando means to be lengthen. And how do you lengthen? You accent. It has a little what? K -k sound, right? And then also um, longer bow. You see how full your bow is in the last note? You play the whole of the bow. You play from the tip all the way to the frog, right? Yeah, okay?